Hello High Heels lovers and welcome back to my channel. I would like to use the chance and wish you a very happy new year. Yeah, I know, we haven't spoken since the last year. So guys, I really hope that you had a nice new year, if a nice uh, new year celebration and uh, yeah, it was nice for me as well. And what I'm wearing today actually is my New Year's Eve outfit. I just wanted to yeah, share that with you. Maybe some of you who are uh, already following me on Instagram know about this outfit, but uh, for those of you who are just here in, on YouTube, uh, yes, this is how I was looking for a new year. Uh, what I'm wearing is basically a Zara dress. I know that it doesn't look like that, but it's actually Zara. Uh, but some limited uh, collection, so it's not really a mass uh, dress uh, that you can find in Zara. Um, also some Calcedonia tights. Uh, yeah, I think that they are very suitable for celebrations. Um, um, yeah, I love them. And also, again, Zara shoes. So, uh, my outfit is basically very budget friendly. And uh, in my next videos, I will show you a lot of uh, such kind of options. I really like to combine, uh, yes, some uh, budget-friendly options uh, with uh, some uh, more upscale brands, let's say. Uh, but uh, yeah, in this case, it's just uh, basically a budget-friendly <laughs> outfit, and um, yeah, I don't really care as long as it looks uh, good. It makes you feel. Uh, confident it makes you feel sexy so um, I'm fine with that so guys that was <laughs> about my outfit now um, yeah uh, as I said I hope that you had a nice celebration I was in Paris so again those of you who are following me on Instagram you know that I were in Paris and uh, today in this video I would like to show you, um, yeah, to share with you some of my experiences there, to show you what I saw basically. So it will be a lot about Paris and I will show you some Paris or some French inspired looks. I really didn't have a chance to wear those looks, maybe some of them, uh, but you know it's the winter, we are in the middle of the winter so I can wear everything that I want, but uh, still, I will show you some nice French uh, uh, yeah, flavored outfits with uh, high heels, of course, uh, yeah, some French uh, <laughs> shoe designers, and um, yeah, it will be about that. And then I will be waiting for you to tell me which is your favorite outfit. Uh, yeah, Paris is a really, it's a, it's a world, and uh, there is a lot to say about Paris, a lot to see there. I don't know if I would like to live in Paris because it's too crazy, too dynamic for me. Uh, so Vienna it's more quiet, it's, it's better from that perspective, but uh, there are a lot of things to do there. And it's really the city of light. It was the best season, I guess, to visit Paris is right now. And to feel that Christmas and New Year spirit, Paris is the right place. So, yeah, I think that we have a plan, let's get started! I don't want to bother you with a lot of information, but I will share just a few curious facts about the Eiffel Tower. It was designed by Gustav Eiffel, it took 22 months to be completed, uh, it has actually three floors and it has to be repainted every seven years. Starting this outfit round with red soles. What is more French than red soles when it comes to shoes? Yeah, Louboutin of course, tweed, mini skirt and some silk shirt. This is, let's say, Chanel inspired look.
The Arc of Triumph was commissioned by Napoleon to commemorate the victory of the French army. However, Napoleon never saw the completed Arc, as he passed away nearly 15 years before it was completed. And voila! The other accessory that I will always connect to France and Paris is French Beret. I'm pairing the hat with other accessory, some romantic transparent gloves that I think fit this outfit, just a classy mini dress and as of the shoes I'm wearing Italian shoes, Casa Dei, blade with bow tights. The Place Vendôme was built in 1686 by the order of the French king Louis XIV. If you love jewelry, shiny pieces, delicate materials and fine design, you will love walking the Place Vendôme and admiring the vitrines of the jewelry stores. The Place Vendôme has always been prized by many. One specific place has won many hearts, the Five Star Hotel Ritz. Over the years, it has received the most distinguished customers such as Ernest Hemingway, Charlie Chaplin and Coco Chanel. For more than 30 years, Coco Chanel lived in the Hotel Ritz. The other place that I can recommend for shopping is Gallery Lafayette, which around this season always looks like a fairy tale. A white suit will take your wardrobe to the next level easily. Elegance, chic, nice, great, exclusive, posh style. This is the vibe that this outfit gives me combined with pearls and my lovely Anouk by Jimmy Choo. So there is a lot to be said about Versailles, but I'm going to share some curious details about the Hall of Mirrors. To build the Hall of Mirrors, the mirror makers were stolen from Venice. There are 357 mirrors in the hall, which at the time were among the most expensive items to possess. Venice had the monopoly of making mirrors, but France managed to convince Venetian mirror makers to come over to create some specially for the palace.
My next outfit is in my favorite pink, a pleated skirt combined with short sleeve, blazer or sport coat and yeah, favorite, again favorite pair of shoes by Kazadi, plaid Kazadi in pink. My son said that I look like a French pink macaron in this outfit and by the way the best macarons in Paris you can find them in La Dure. Why is Moulin Rouge that iconic? Famed as the birthplace of the French Cancan, the cabaret dates back to the end of the 19th century it was the first electric building in Paris, an image that became a Paris landmark forever. And I'm ending this outfit marathon with Louboutins and red soles again. This time the model is hot chick, a tweed mini skirt, a shirt and a French barrette again. A final closer look to my red soles and yes I think I'm done for today see you guys bisu so guys I really hope that this video was enjoyable and that I managed to transfer you to move you from the place that you're right now in this beautiful Paris in this beautiful uh, yeah, different new world and that you uh, some kind uh, feel the atmosphere that um, was in Paris over this time. I will definitely go in Paris over, over the summer and I think that all these uh, outfits that I show you today deserve to be shown yeah, there as well and to take some nice uh, pictures dress like that um, maybe I will really honestly I'm, I'm thinking about uh, moving there for a couple of months just to do some nice content because all of the uh, the best uh, I think influencers right now they are all best in Paris and Paris really it's a it's a great uh, place for content creators um, also, please give me a big thumbs up. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so we always stay in touch. Come to my Instagram channels, uh, both of them, the one that is about traveling and fashion and art even sometimes. Uh, yes, uh, all these uh, things that uh, I'm into. Elena Constantine and the other one that is about my heels. Uh, uh, yeah, my killer heels, uh, so I know that you know both of them, but uh, just come and say hi, don't be shy, you know that I'm a very approachable person. What else? Let me know which was your favorite outfit and why. Also, don't skip the ads when you are watching my videos because this is the way that you are supporting me and this is the way that I can continue making some cool videos for you. 
Okay, and what is coming? I can honestly say it right now because I'm very spontaneous when I'm making videos, but I want to make something next week and then after that I would like to show you some nice uh, a Valentine's outfit because uh, yeah the month of love is coming <laughs> and it's in front of us so maybe I want um, to give you some outfit uh, inspiration before that um, and also that's a really a great occasion to wear red so <laughs> I definitely need to do that so guys again thank you for your attention thank you for your love thank you for your support for your kind words, for uh, all your compliments and I really appreciate um, that you were watching me today um, yeah so for now I need to take off my shoes right uh, this is the ritual that we are doing <laughs> every week so I'm going to do that I'm just taking off my shoes uh, by the way, about my nail polish, you can't really see that, but it's actually gold. I decided that gold is a color for New Year and uh, that's why I did something different this time. I think it goes very well with uh, my outfit and with uh, everything. So I have uh, red nails here with... Um, with a little bit of uh, bling bling <laughs> it's um, totally new year and um, yeah for the next time we'll see what I'm going to put okay guys so I'm finishing on that note and wishing you a lovely day ahead or night ahead uh, wherever you are and we are seeing each other next week with a new video thank you kisses Love from Vienna and uh, from me. <laughs>